What's going on, girls and boys? Today we are making a water bottle ball, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So what you're going to need, you're going to need some baking soda, you're going to need some vinegar, and you're going to need a water bottle with like thin plastic on it. Um, thick plastic probably will work as well, but you're going to need more baking soda and vinegar. But for now, this big eight water bottle with thin plastic will work. Nessie Pyrrolite bottles work really well as well. So just before you start this, I just want to let you guys know that this can be dangerous. The water bottle can blow up in your hand. I'm going to show you the amounts that I, that I normally use. Never blew up my hand before, but I'm not saying that it wouldn't happen. But anyways, let's get started. And actually, right before I show you how to make it, yes, this is a couple days later. You can tell I didn't have stubble there, and now I do. Um, when you, At the end of this video, we're going to give you some examples. We're going to give you multiple examples of the bottle throwing it against things. At the very end, we're going to have an example of when it doesn't work, and we're also going to shoot it with a BB gun because that works as well. Just thought I'd let you know that'll be at the end of the video. So back to making the water bottle bomb and how to do it. So first you're going to want to fill your water bottle up with some vinegar here. I'd say right about that. That is enough right there. So that's good. Next you're going to want to roll a little baking soda doobie here. So what you're going to do is you're going to pour a little bit of a uh, baking soda out on a paper towel. Now I'm just going to say you re you could pour this uh, baking soda right into the bottle, but the thing is that the reaction is going to happen so quick and you need to put your cap on like super, super fast. So I don't really think that's a good idea unless you really think you can pour your baking soda in at like light speed and like put the cap on and go outside and throw it. So you're going to do this and just put a little bit more baking soda on. That amount there is probably fine. A little bit more, actually. Just be safe. There. Like I said, I don't think you want to go too much because it could blow up in your hand. and It's still dangerous to go blow up in your hand anyways. And make sure you wear safety glasses when you do this. Now you're going to want to roll it as tight as you possibly can. If you roll it too big, it's not going to fit down the top of the water bottle. It's pretty small. So roll really tight. And um, when you're done, I'll show you here. You're just going to wet the ends so you can transport it easy. And so when you put it in the bottle, all the baking soda doesn't like fall out of it. This is like probably the hardest part of the whole thing here because you just gotta roll it really tight and not make a giant mess and rip, make any rips. Maybe the hardest part's putting it in the bottle, I don't really know. But there, that is done. And Another cool trick, if you take a straw and fit two airsoft BBs perfectly into it, it works really good for putting the baking soda into. A little hard to get the baking soda into the bottle, but it works perfectly. All right, guys, so now we have our bottle of vinegar and our rolled up baking soda. And what we're going to do, we're going to try to put it in here. This is like, this actually probably is the hardest part because you don't want to spill too much vinegar in. Make sure you roll it tight. Ours came unraveled, so hopefully this will fit in. And you're going to find a solid object to throw it onto. We came to the school because we didn't want to wake our neighbor because this is like extremely loud. And um, yeah, sometimes it'll be like a dud and it won't work. And then you're scared to pick it up again. Sometimes the cap will blow off and the bottle will shoot. But most of the time, I say about 75% of the time, if you do it correctly, the bottle will explode and make a sound like as loud as a gunshot. And yeah, so just be careful where you do this around. So I'm going to take my baking soda noodle here. And we're going to, oh, that's really why I don't know what's going to go in there. All right, let's just try. It gets, no, oh, we're good, I think. Where's the cap? There it is. Get ready, because sometimes it'll spill out. So get ready to put this on right away. And then we're going to throw it at the school over there. Oh, I'm, I'm nervous. I feel like a schoolboy. I desperately want to make love to a schoolboy. Oh, it's going. The bottle will start turning into like a tube. As you can see, it's getting really big and round. And here we go. So here's a bottle. It's, it's super, like all like the indents and like markings in the bottle, like start filling out as you can see, it's like a tube. And she's ready to throw. It makes my adrenaline pump every time. Here we go. And that's how it's done. Now that time it wasn't as loud as it normally is, but we'll do it again and show you another clip. Not bad. All right, boys and girls, now we're going to try with a BB gun. Um, I tried it with this 305 FPS airsoft rifle and the BBs would not go through. This is also a thicker plastic water bottle, so that could be why. I put a little bit of extra vinegar and baking soda in it to be safe, but let's see if this worked. Ready? Hopefully make a giant boom. Let me get the hell out. Okay, ready? You can throw it in the wall too, but I thought it was. You better hurry up, buddy. That's probably. Ready? Okay, didn't 
<laughs> really big now. She's definitely gone. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. She's steaming. <laughs> oh, it's sizzling, that's why. What? It's sizzling now. Yeah, the pressure's been let out. Uh. Oh, this is scary. <laughs> That is your anus after after leak. <laughs> <laughs>